Hello, everybody. Welcome to Z's Game Corner. No hats, no cheats. Just hard work and smart play make it happen. And today, we are hopping into DFFOO. <laughs> you know, um, I just wanted to show this off real quick. Log in. All this stuff should be sitting in your inbox. And this means we can finally get our first batch of characters up to crystal strength 70 especially if you've been doing everything with the raids and all that so we're gonna come over to these presents and look at all these goodies all you gotta do is log in and this will be sitting here waiting for you and with all of that we'll go ahead and get our first crystal strength 70 character which will be warrior light you know, um, from people that play the Japanese version, they say he's good for a really, really long time. You know, so <coughs> if you got his EX, uh, I would work on him um, if he's nowhere near completed. Now, as you see, we got nine characters out of the 101, so 10% of the characters so far. You know, um, or very close to 10%, I should say. Crystal Strength unlocked. And I must say, Act 2, Chapter 4 has been very, very interesting. You know, and I'm um, going to go ahead and dive into that. Uh, yeah, the pain is a lot of fun to use. But before we get into that chapter we're gonna go do some draws i know i said i've been saving up for a selfie but i took a look at my ticket count you know and we got a quite a lot of tickets so i will save 50 for now so let's go ahead and just draw these up you know and with uh, act two chapter four there's been a couple of new enemies, namely the uh, Mind Flayers. Oh, man. First time I ran into them, and I was pulling a magic user for support, and they just weren't doing as much damage as normal. And I'm just like, um, what's going on here? Ooh, I need that. <laughs> uh, but, uh... Yeah, so be careful of the Mind Flayers, and then... Beelzebub, which is like a boss in Act 2, Chapter 4. You know, um, he absorbs fire. So, ooh, nice. Uh, he absorbs fire, so don't bring any of your fire users, namely Vivi and Jack. I know those are everybody's favorite two fire users. And I guess we can throw Lulu in there since she's a fire expert. Oh, ah, I need his 35 CP. And um, when I do story chapters, I like to use characters that, you know, the cutscenes are in the cutscenes, you know. Um, so I've been doing it with, you know, Yuna, Waka, Pain, Furion, Maria, um, and special uh, notations or special characters to shout out Zack, Titus, um, Oren, Jack, uh, Squall. And Snow and Sarah, you know, are all very notable characters as you move through the chapter. Um, if you haven't completed it yet, this video will have spoilers. I just came across this interesting thing, a new type of mechanic, a new type of stage. You know, um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I think it might be, you know, the final boss stage of the map i don't need that give me his 35 cp please <laughs> or give me pain's weapons oh thank you ah uh, yeah my poor fear i did not draw his ex and i sold his uh 35 cp so ah uh, no it was just kind of one of the reasons why we're doing this i was hoping to get his 35 cp which is good give him a little bit more power a little bit more hurt you know, especially since in this uh, last half of this chapter that I am, I've been using him a whole lot. You know, um, 
but yeah it's been very very interesting like i said and as well as <gasps> what yeah <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> Oh, uh, I've had one person support in that move. It's so cool. So cool. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, I do not have the power stones to <laughs> max lemon break that. But, oh, yes. That is awesome. Oh, my gosh. Now, just give me Payne's 35 CP. We got like two more draws. I said we'll take this down to about 50 tickets. Ah, yeah, yeah, I think my luck is out. You know, for the amount of tickets we're drawing. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I don't know how I feel. All right, I'm gonna go do some enhancements real quick, and we'll hop into the chapter. All right, this is the stage I was talking about it's interesting um too bad i can't bring up the tutorial for it maybe if we hold on to it no um but apparently this is going to be a battle cutscene battle cutscene you know um this is the party we were going with i've done most of this with uh fairy on maria and yuna you know um and i was wrong i thought with this chapter you know uh yuna's ex will come so for that awakening part two, you know, um, uh, that will definitely bring Yunus EX because it's been <laughs> said that it is coming out sometime this month. And I just assumed it would come with this chapter as, you know, typically, you know, when the new chapter or when a new chapter comes out, the featured character doesn't get their EX. So, it's just one of those little one-off situations. Sorry, I was wrong about that. But that also eliminates uh, Ferris and Seven from getting their EX. Unless you're going to throw up two new EXs with the new Crystal Awakening. You know, um, it, I just don't see them doing it. And why am I not using my support right here? <laughs> uh, here we go with the Mind Flayers. You see it. Oh my gosh, she's doing about 4k brave damage with that. Like, I know it only has one arrow on those mind flares, but uh, it, it, it's, it's like it's two arrows pointing up. I'm like flat out surprised they're not absorbing magic attacks. You know, so just be careful of that. I've also mentioned Beezlebub and the new co-op, which we will hop into a bit later. But, um, uh, yeah, uh, Azeroth, which I haven't really seen what that thing is capable of. I've not done any of the co-ops. And speaking of co-ops, first meet challenge or first meet rewards are back so that's four thousand gems go out do some co-ops meet 20 people you see it's just one arrow it doesn't feel like it's one arrow figure to just show that off real quick and let's get vain in here and have him mess some stuff up uh, i'm so mad i didn't draw for him and yes i do realize i did not get an intro video out for vain or for Freya, I have not forgot about them. It's just with everything going on, um, especially with my vacation going on and all their events going on during the midst of prepping for that. It just completely forgot about that. But I do hope you enjoy Porm's video or intro video at the beginning of this. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, that took way longer than I thought it would. It. It really did. It was just really hard to, you know, get that footage on top of, um, you know, putting it all together because she doesn't have any attacks, <laughs> you know. So I mean, just trying to highlight her buffs and and um, everything. It, it it was a real challenge. It was a different kind of uh, intro video. It, and, oh man, I hope you guys did enjoy it though. You know, I did try to show off all of her buzz. I think we got her EX move in there and it 
cry and obsidian brilliance um uh plus and normal in there as well in the bus that they give but i mean it was just really hard then you top that off with the fact you know i haven't really played final fantasy 4 you know i mean about the part of the is when you get through the cave with uh cecil and kane and they realize something's wrong that's about as far as i've gotten it in final fantasy 4 you know so i have played it i know who cecil and kane is um but outside of those two <laughs> characters, don't know much about four. And same thing with like Ten Two and Pain. I did play it. I actually owned it. I just never completed it. Uh, I was. I think I've said this before. I just got hooked on the uh, <laughs> intro scene, and you know, oh my gosh, that annoying ledge jumping thing to you first fear that you find in Tin 2. Oh my gosh, that was so, so annoying for me. You know, it just made me not want to continue. It just, let's go back and watch that music scene. <laughs> you know, um, so, <laughs> so yeah, I've not completed Tin 2. I know that she does find Titus. Like, I didn't know that. Um, how exactly i don't know if he gets brought back to the world or if she was just seeing him in the shears or anything like that oh wow that was leon <laughs> all right no i'm not switching out my leon for this no you know i figured it was him you know he's the only other final fantasy 2 character in here other than Firion and maria so, and we are in the pandemonium. I told you there'd be spoilers. <laughs> you know, which is, you know, the Final Fantasy II protagonist, uh, ultimate final boss, who they're trying to take out in everything. But it's been a really long while since I played Final Fantasy II. <laughs> you know, I mean, I had that thing on NES. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh, like... <laughs> <laughs> RPGs back then were so bad. Just they just drop you in, tell you the general story of the game, and then there you go. No direction on where to go, what to do. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, of course, in every RPG you want to train up a little bit. You know, and then then uh, you know, try to get some better gear before you go off for your first location wherever you're supposed to go but as far as that goes yeah good luck with it you know we didn't have all those resources we have today it's not like you could just look it up on the internet i mean you had to like go to gamestop and get uh the player's guide you know what i'm saying and spend 10 to 30 bucks on that depending on the game and how hyped it was and everything or if you're like me you just had a subscription to nintendo power and you can just write into them <laughs> yes write in not email actually write down words on a piece of paper <laughs> and and uh put a stamp on it and send it in the mail and just wait for a couple of weeks for them to get back to you <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, just, uh, the good old days. <laughs> showing my age, showing my age. But, yeah, it's been fun. Um, other announcements, of course, the story draw was on here, which we did featuring Walk of Pain and Firion. And what that is, I've never got, what is that? I, 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 it, that's like an armored Cerebus, like, oh my gosh, what is this, it, it is a freaking Cerebus, oh my gosh, okay, so no resistances, um, yeah, so you can just bring anybody and beat this guy up, which is why I'm glad I brought this girl, bears. <laughs> eat my twin meteor. But, um, yeah, the story draw, which is featuring Pain, 
Waka and Firion. Um, as I've said, I've never pulled a Waka 35 CP, you know, and that 15 CP that I do have for him right now was, uh, I feel like we should take out the Emperor first. Um, it was, uh, I got it the last time he was up not too long ago, you know, and that's the first time ever I've had, you know, his, uh, 15 CP any one of his weapons you know and Waka no not the greatest character in the world but I mean he does something that very few characters can which is blind enemies you know I mean the only other characters that can do that is like Kefka um, and Vaughn I want to say what is a uh, white world you know, so there's not too many characters that are blind. So he can be extremely useful in certain situations, especially fighting those marbles. You know what I'm saying? Uh, those marbles are just nasty beings. Everybody who's ever played any Final Fantasy game ever hates <laughs> marbles because they're just a pain in the butt. And it's not that they do a whole ton of damage. It's just that they give you a whole bunch of status effects you know they give you a whole bunch of debuffs and makes it impossible to defeat them unless you get rid of those debuffs you know and you know like I said they're not the strongest enemy in the world but they're, they're pretty strong you know what I'm saying they're not pushovers when it comes to their attack and HP usually you know, so uh, it's just one of the worst enemies in video game history, in my opinion. You know, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you can <laughs> agree with that. Uh, uh, oh, we're running into the torsion. There's still more stages in this. Ah, uh, but uh, yeah, I'll talk about the notices. We did the story draw. Uh, the campaign, uh, New Mead, and well, uh, the other one was just introducing Act 2, Chapter 4. And so we're all caught up on that. And we will be getting the pain intro video out very soon. Um, it shouldn't take as long as poor. I'm like, oh my gosh, I was working on that all week. Like, that, yeah, I'm being dead serious when I say that too. It's just. A lot of frustration because they didn't know exactly what direction to take with that. Um, you know, I, didn't, I mean, there was plenty of times I was just sitting there trying to work on it. It's just like, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> and took a break from it and came back to it, you know. So, oh, man. It's definitely the most challenging intro video I have done for a character, uh, but I think I might combine like Vayne and Freya's intro video. I mean, they all have their own little separate. I usually try to keep them about a minute long, you know. So they will have their own little minute, but you know, I'll probably release both of those at the same time or just at really odd times. I know it, it's just so late on those. Anyway, how are you guys doing? In the draws, uh, are you liking pain? Are you liking Act Two, Chapter Two? Okay, yeah, it's complete. Oh, and we're going down even deeper. Okay, that's cool. Oh no, they brought us back to here. What? Okay, and I think that will clear the chapter. That conversation right there. So let's go ahead and go back and. Let's do a co-op. Uh, yeah, let me know down there in that uh, comment section, you know, how you guys are doing. Are you liking the new chapter? Oh, my gosh. This chapter is just crazy. And I don't know why I went all the way back to the home screen. Sorry about that uh, outer room again. So we're just going to go ahead and wrap it up. We're doing the solo stage of the new event that's up. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, stay up to date with content going up on the channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell. You can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. Details will be down there in the description section. And if you want to join me 
and uh, the Stadia Opera Omnia. You know, uh, I will have my player code down there as well. We will be going live every day at 5 p.m. Pacific Time on Twitch. So come check me out. We'll be playing God of War. Um, I hope you guys all have an awesome day. And I will see you all later. And I'll try to get as much of this battle in as possible. <laughs>